Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay, welcome back to Let's Play Surlem Ultimate, and man, what a wonderful episode we had last time, the entire thing, I checked the file length when I was uploading, the entire length was under 30 minutes, like barely under, by about, you know, a few seconds, but you've got to consider the fact that the entire thing w including not just the 40-ish fights with Venadon, but other stuff we were doing messing around, like we got into a fight with uh, Azural, we got into a fight with Tartareth, j like, like just messing around. Extra stuff beyond the scope of the episode objective. And oh, and then at the end of it we swapped back to the animator and even got all of our spells back. Despite all of that extra stuff, the entire thing was under 30 minutes. It was crazy. By far, the uh, fastest Gate of the Gods episode we've had so far, and man, it feels great. Oh yeah, and we even had time to, to roll ourselves a bonus for the next regular realm, which by the way, we're going to be taking down Nebodar. And I see no reason not to dive right in. Let's keep this momentum going. Of course, we're going to be doing another uh, series of uh, episodes just playing the game regularly. Uh, not really going to be going back to get at the gods for a bit. Because uh, we do need to start stockpiling some keys, although, hopefully, now that we're uh, doing key forge missions once again, hopefully that should help us out with the... Uh, getting a number of keys up. Well, I'm very curious as to why these guys are so hard to kill. So they have extra defense. And as far as I can see, that's the only major uh, defensive bonus they have. They have good luck, but I don't see how that's helping them. Maybe their fusion is helping them somehow. Oh, 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 easy. Uh, let's see, we got immune to indirect damage. Oh, we get the bad outcome out of these guys. What? what why? Is hmm banshee? Is there a banshee trait that's hurting us? I don't know. We get a mimic fight out of this. Let's just do a clay man. You know, just. Because I had a feeling there was going to be some uh, shenanigans going on with you being tanky. That's okay, though. Alright. Easy. Alright, let's go down here. Grab all of this stuff. We want to open all of the chests that we can get. Saving Grace! First of all, I don't even know if we need to answer Riddle Dwarf questions. I'm going to assume yes. So let me just see. I'm going to look this up on my phone. I'm going to cheat, as always. Saving Grace is a life spell. That's what I would have guessed. I mean, it's a very sort of religious sounding term and those things are usually life spells so what I would have guessed I mean I, I can't prove it to you now because it was only after I looked it up that I told you what I would have uh, what I would have guessed so whether you believe me or not is just down to uh, how much you trust me obviously if you don't trust me then I, I will take it personally <laughs> so you gotta you gotta keep that in mind as well but uh, yeah, usually you can... And when I say usually, I mean... 
slightly over 50% of the time. You can tell based on the name of the spell what uh, kind of uh, class it is. I should check though, do we have a Riddle Dwarf? We do actually, so it was a good thing that I looked that up. This is less stats, go for it. I'm not going to summon anything because this is a false god kind of realm. Alright, let's go down here, grab all of that, grab these uh, these creatures. Alright, there are six enemies in this realm and a master as well. The shell buff that our enemies have, or it's, it is bothering us a little bit, but only a little bit. You know what? I'd m much rather you have uh, t uh, you give us three debuffs. We can deal with that pretty easily. The ten percent damage cap is a uh, much bigger pain. All right, blessed. Please, let's do an arbitration. Okay, okay. Well, we can, uh, we can do this. Mainly just to get rid of any rebirth buffs that they might be carrying. And finally, you can have a slight chance to avoid damage. Is there anything in this little nook? Nope. Okay. Continue on. In here. So many enemies in this realm. And a lot of our explosions are not quite killing them in time. And this is our, I think. Arachnalisk Master will check. Arach I, you know, I should read what they have to say more often. Here's what I'll start. I'm going to start reading what the Masters actually say. Arachnalisks prefer to ensnare their opponents before poisoning them, <laughs> watching as their foes suffer long and painful deaths. But anyway, how are you doing? Care for a duel? I'm doing okay, my man. How are you doing? Always, always delightful. Do uh, a bit of an Archangel. You also have Clayman. Giving non-ethereal Clayman to more of my creatures has definitely been one of the better changes that I've made to my build of late. Just because it helps us scale a lot more quickly. And get more Arachnalisk Mastery. There we go. That was uh, fairly painless. Whenever the explosions can kill at least one enemy, then that sets up the domino effect because it sets off another round of explosions that are even more powerful. Ah, uh, man, what? Oh, fucking salamander bullshit. Come on. All right. Where the fuck are these enemies? Like, where have I not gone? I guess up here. And there's one person. Creatures burst out, alright. Um, as long as you give me some treasure at the end. You did. You also gave me some treasure. It's good. Uh, where's... There's three more enemies, what?
if one of them's all the way over there, or hang on, hang on, hang on a second. Let's just let's just get these guys sorted. You're dead. And what about you? You're also dead. I think there's one more enemy. Yeah, somewhere in here there's one more... ...enemy. What? Uh-oh. don't like this realm layout. There's a lot, lots of these little rooms that aren't really connected to the rest of the realm. Kind of annoying. You know what? You know what I should do? Um... Instead of arbitration on my Dread White, uh, as the, uh, the spell that casts on Provoke, instead of that, I should have a Greater Dispel. Because that will not only get rid of enemy buffs, but it will also get rid of our debuffs. Granted, we rarely need to worry about our own debuffs, but for instance, right now we're going into this false god fight, and we specifically picked the thing that gives us three debuffs at the start of battle, and it would be... See, like he cast arbitration, he got rid of... I don't even think uh, our uh, false god had any... Uh, debuffs at that time But if he had instead cast greater dispel he would have gotten rid of our debuffs as well and saved us a turn and usually We can pile buffs on ourselves pretty easily with Archangel's blessing so it's not that crucial for us to Personally get all of the buffs that we're stealing from the enemy. I think it's more useful for us to just get rid of the enemy buffs period and then get rid of our own debuffs in terms of the order of usefulness I think that's the way to do it because see, not right now we're gonna have to do greater, greater dispel anyway and we're gonna have to do a bit of this and see now that Archangel's Blessing was wasted because you were already at max health but we're uh, we are uh, it set us back by a couple turns, but I mean, we're never really going to lose. For us, the improvements to our build, for the most part, are in terms of making battles uh, quicker and more convenient. And that was a very easy Nebadar fight. We get ooh, we get a piece of garbage to the left. We get nothing to the right. And we are looking for a specific anointment. I've already forgotten what it's called. But it's the one that makes it so that enemies are always burning. We did not get it. Okay. So, I mean, I guess I'll take flash over. I mean, let's just... I don't know, man. Um... Arsenal spells, maybe? Acclimated? I don't know. Sure, I'll take that. And do we get any? Oh, we get another uh, another stone, but not that exciting. Bit of nature guild reputation, and another small amount of loot for uh, beating the realm. 
I think we're just gonna head to the exit. Um, I feel like this realm has taken up enough of our time. With the... Oh, <laughs> with this garbage layout. Yeah. I'm done with it. Let's just go. And let's hope that we find some good stuff today. We've already found a couple of nether stones. Which is fine. Just another key forge. Look at our prophecies. Gotta find a dumpling. And honestly, we're pretty close to finishing this, uh... This Rune of Prophecies. You know what? I'm gonna do the slot machine thing right now. Just in case we run into the Wrath Stamper, then he can... Do one of the, uh... He can do one of the, uh... Other, uh, prophecies. Maybe one of the ones that would have taken longer. What I should do is, every time I get a new Rune of Prophecies, every time I hand in a Rune of Prophecies and refresh it, the f immediately I should do all the gambling. Because I don't want to be in a situation where I get the Rat Stamper, and then he completes one of the gambling things, which literally I could have done at any time. At any point, I could have just gone to the, to the Brittle Dwarves. Yeah, I think, and that makes the most sense. We're gonna continue with assassinations. We were doing wasps, right? Yeah, we'll do the uh, the slicer. Oh, I'm never gonna use any of those trade materials because they are any of the ones where it's like you have your creatures all have to be one race. It's just really. Uh, that's too that that is too niche. It's, uh, that is too hard to make that work. I'm gonna just. Uh, you know what? Let's let's take a look at the other uh, attack spell damage healing given. That could be pretty good for a blight based build. But I mean, you're killing enemies very quickly with fermented hops. I don't think we need to worry that much about. Ratcheting it up, ratcheting it up even more. I think the main thing you have to worry about with that party is if enemies do start to damage you somehow that you don't get immediately wiped. And to that end, uh, indirect damage reduction. Still, you're gonna have to do a lot of work to change my mind if you're gonna convince me that there is a single stat in this game that is more beneficial than indirect damage reduction. And until something convinces me otherwise, we're just gonna we're just gonna stay with this, and we're gonna stay with Nebodar as well, at least until he coughs up that. Uh... Let me. I should familiarize myself with its name because otherwise it'll come up, and then I'll. It's not Living Flame. It is uh, Conflagration. No. Fire? Fire starter. Okay. Fire starter. Enemies always have burning. Gotta. Gotta do that. Also, how much piety do we have? Uh, 200k. Another uh, about 300,000 and a bit. And then we can awaken another relic. Other than that... Just gotta, just gotta keep on going. <laughs> Sorry, no, no resurrecting on death. This seems fine. We'll do a random realm, and let's see, uh, let's see how it goes. Dead ships, all right. All right. Ooh. Ooh, it's the Tanukrook. Can it be? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Enough excitement. Wow, 
What? What is... Why are these guys <laughs> so, so difficult to kill? Crazy. So all we got was another Tunukuk summon. And I guess we should summon it straight away. Oh, enemies are fused with the Doom Fortresses. Yeah. Maybe that's what was making them uh, so defensively inclined in that Tunukuk fight. Who knows? Alright. Going down. Here, alright. Alright, kill you. And go here. Grab that, grab this. And I think we're done with this side of the map. Oh, agile creatures are annoying, but it is nice when you can uh, take them out at the start like that. Okay, another one of those. Man, our nether stones are piling up. We really need to start doing something about them. Zombie clap is surely death. But there's a small chance that it could be chaos. Okay, let's uh... Zombie clap is a death spell, I do believe. I just looked it up. And that has completed that prophecy task. Alright. But the Revenant Master... Do this. And I think they're done for. Yeah, nothing's gonna nothing's gonna save them. They're dead. That is our seventh victory against that particular master. Oh yeah. We gotta find shells in this realm. And I think these are the type of shells that normally don't give you anything. So I think it's these. Sh no, not those. Oh no, it's the small, the smaller ones that kind of look like those. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I think it's these ones. Yeah, it, it is. It is exactly those ones. Okay. And this is a decent realm to fight some divination summons, just because of how quickly we're uh, taking them out. And if we're lucky, as always if we're lucky, we will even get their card. And as I've said many times, all it takes, all it takes to make me happy in this game is finding just one card. Will it be... Will it be this one? Well, not not yet, I guess. Is there anything here? No, okay. Is there anything in this general part of the map? 
There is, well, there's the buried treasure that we should get, and then there's one potential place where there could be a treasure chest, so we should for sure investigate that. Continuing onwards. I think I summoned a few too many of these guys. Should have should have stopped myself at maybe ten max. But you know what? It's okay. There's our final chest. Very treasure, and we might as well kill these guys. Just cause we might as well. Final one. And I think the uh, realm should be completed from, no, not this thing. We need one of the smaller, these, uh, this one. There we go. And all of that done. I think that's enough out of this realm. We're gonna go straight to another one. Resurrect on death, though, no. <laughs> we even got a slightly, slightly better bonus. And we got rid of enemy resurrections. So I call that a win. Oh, Isaros, the barons, the desert. Do enjoy being here, although what the fuck is going on with the... With the enemies, like, what? Because they're fused with satyrs, which is stopping us from having our extra attacks. Yeah, that's, uh, not a... It's not a good... And then on top of everything else, enemies have extra health and extra defense and less damage taken and strong against death. End of turn defend as well for your know, extra irritation factor. Alright, we're getting attacked. This. Yeah, we're gonna have to use some of our other spells to speed things along a little bit. So let's just get the master fight dealt with. Phoenixes, I don't even... I, I should have read what the master was saying. I... I think I wasted a turn. Okay, you know what? Let's... I'm letting the annoying realm properties get to me. I what need to do this. I need to just calm down. I need to get my bearings and just just play the game properly, right? There's there's no reason to, to not just play properly. Why are they stopping me from healing? Uh, this is bullshit. This is actual bullshit. Yeah, this is a bunch of garbage. Uh, whatever. I mean, they're still gonna lose, just cause we're that damn good, but uh, I don't know. 
I'm not happy. I'm not happy about this realm. Something about it just doesn't feel right. That's our sixth victory against them. Didn't even get to see what uh, treasure that person would have given us. Ah, okay. Because these enemies immediately... You didn't give us a car, did you? I don't think so, unless we were at 511. I don't think we were. A Pando Shrine summoned more enemies. Alright, I'm starting to lose, uh, lose my bearings a little bit. I should definitely just tr try to rein things in a little bit. So this is going to be a bit of an annoying realm. There's going to be a little bit of micromanagement. Oh no. Oh no, when... <sighs> there we go, that should do it. That, that, that was, this was a dumb fight. Why are you... I, I hate it so much when enemies resurrect. It's like, so much. Hey look, it's the uh, Abomination Gang. You know what I should have done is I should have... Uh, I, I, there's no reason why I can't. I was going to say I, I should have done Finger of Death. There we go. Five enemies left. So let me check something. So let me go to my codex. If I go to status effects, leeching is there something, some card bonus that we've unlocked that interacts with leeching that causes our creatures to have a chance to attack just just randomly because I did notice that but then it seems like only my animatus is attacking or maybe I'm only noticing the animatus attacks no so this this is the, uh, as far as I know, the only card set that interacts with leeching. All it does is, as you'd expect, it improves the uh, the amount that gets leeched. So I still don't have an explanation for why my animators is sometimes randomly getting extra attacks. Could animated weapon? But like we don't. Is it animated weapon? I thought animated weapon was only on your turn. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Yes, you know. It deals additional damage only when you attack, but it doesn't actually cause additional attacks. So it's not that either. Very curious. 
Very curious indeed. Can do it. Oh, man, fucking bullshit. Oh. Why didn't you kill him with the fucking finger? And I didn't. Nah, nah, I'm, t I'm, I'm fucking, I'm fucking tilting. Just get do some damage to the. Oh, are you serious right now? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god, okay. I'm a. Uh, There we go. That's gonna kill them. I could have killed them much earlier, but I was just... I got into a... <sighs> a stubborn thing where I was like, I need to punch them to death specifically, just because of... Just because I was personally offended by the nonsense that they pulled earlier on. I didn't have to kill them in such a convoluted way, but you know what? This is the path I chose for myself. And we all have to live with the consequences. Right. Oh no, I cast the wrong fucking thing. Uh... This isn't even gonna... Fuck it, man. Are you fucking serious? Fuck off, dude. Oh, no. Um. All right, fucking just, just, just do this. Are you, oh my god, man! Come on, man! Let's kill them. This, this is a this is a really annoying realm. Really, dude. Like they had to have extra health and extra defense, and less damage taken, and be strong against death. Like, come on, come on, game. Be reasonable. There we go. Hey, look at that, another piece of garbage. And Cole has hit rank S, and I think with that, once again, every single creature in our bestiary is now rank S. So that's, that's nice. Where the f is the wood? So we need to complete this as well. There's th three more enemies, all right. Now there are only two enemies. Please do an arbitration good. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to change the arbitration out for a greater dispel. That 
that's gonna be the the way to go. There's the final bit of wood. And there's our treasure. There's our realm completed. I think we have another boss fight coming up. But before we go in for that, I'm gonna head back home and make that change to the Dread White's spell that I mentioned. Now there should be... yeah, there's one more. No cards this episode so far. Very... Very sad. Oh. Head back home. Because we got to quickly make that change. 40 minutes as well. So time is running out for us to find cards. So do I already have a greater dispel just lying around? I do, but I've also put a bunch of uh, things on it. So you know what, I'll craft a new... And then... Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to go to this guy, I'm gonna have to unsock it. That, and then I'm gonna have to sock it. Oh, so I'm gonna have to sock it. Uh, greater uh, dispel. I think that's gonna be a more beneficial arrangement for us. Now let's roll. Yeah, seems fine. Seems fun, and we're gonna go into the arachnid nest for this. Right. Let me just take a quick sip of water. Nice and hydrated. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Just as I was about to open that chest. Ooh, you're a mimic, alright. Hang on, what did... Oh, my mimic cast Archangel, alright. The Dread White didn't actually... Didn't actually do anything. Treasure chest. Sounds good to me. Alright. I think this time... Yes, you did cast Greater Dispel. So that is working as... Uh, as intended. That's lovely. Yeah, that is working nicely. <laughs> We're even getting rid, rid of their uh, repelling buff. But, oh, fucking salamanders with their bullshit. What? You, man, come on. I hate these guys so much. <sighs> what the fucking hell, man? What? Why the fuck do you have that trait? Fuck off, dude. Why are you? Why? Oh, what a bunch of bullshit. Why are you silenced? What? What a, what a fucking asshole. What? Like, don't you just hate it? Like, enemies that just completely ruin all of the things that you had planned. Right. 
Kill that guy, and then we can kill everybody else. Ooh, hey, one of, one of these places. Pick a box, hopefully this isn't empty. Fuck, man, come on. Casual. You... You got my hopes up, and then you let me down. That was... that was mean. But hey, at least... That's another... another portal visited. Oh yeah. We are no... we are now no longer getting, uh... Knowledge drops. Oh hey, oh hey! Final excretion, I think we've seen that before. It's a... A corpse explosion related thing. That before our, our creatures die... They cast Corpse Explosion, which isn't really that useful. Unless it's something that can work with Feign Death, and I see no reason why it wouldn't be able to. So that could create some interesting uh, synergies. But just, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I should... I should at least show you the, uh, the trait. So it was, a hun it was in the low 200s, I think. Oh no, I've already... I've already lost it. Okay, maybe it was under 200. What? Oh no. Was it... Surely it wasn't this low. What? Oh, oh it was pretty low, I guess. It, because it had nothing else on it, okay. Trade details. After okay, after an enemy dies, this creature casts corpse explosion. I guess I could put it on one of my other creatures, but see, I don't really need anybody other than my animatus doing damage. Not on this party. On. Other parties, I don't even know if I'd want to put Corpse Explosion on them. Just because, yes, okay, it's an extra way to do damage, but it also slows down battles a lot, because often your uh, creature, like whoever it is in your party that has Corpse Explosion, will just cast Corpse Explosion on empty ground, just wasting your time, not even doing any damage to the enemy. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Yeah, like, yeah, you can get a bit of extra damage out of it, but at the cost of it, like, wasting a lot of your time. We get the bad outcome out of this. That sucks. Grab that. Three enemies remain. Did we find the uh, candle? I feel like we probably did. Or I guess we didn't. All right. Well, here's the candle. I'm just gonna summon one group of these guys. But we're killing them quick enough that I will do one more group. it going. How long are we at? We are about 50 minutes. We could do one more realm. 
after this one. Depends on how this one goes. If we find a card in this realm, I'll uh, I'll end the episode here. If we don't, I will do one more realm. Let's let's call it. Uh, let's just do it like that. And I'm also not gonna summon any more enemies. If we find a card with just the enemies that remain, or in one of the piles of loot, then we'll call it good in this realm. Otherwise, we'll do one more. Thing. There's our master, finally. And <laughs> there's our debuffs. Finally. Get some more health out of you. All the stuff that we've been looking for, basically the whole realm, it was all in one tiny corner. Alright, let's just let's just kill this kill this dude. I'm tired of your I'm tired of your bullshit. I should have read your text. I'll make it a point to it, It'll take a while for me to get, get into the habit of reading something that I'm so used to skipping. But yeah, elves basically their whole deal is they prevent things that normally would have happened from happening like extra attacks or like effects on death or like indirect damage or like I'll, I'll give you a sampling effects that happen when dodge are ignored effects on provoke are ignored effects on resurrect effects on defend effects on buff or debuff and effects on death. Let's do one more. And finally, this. And that is an easy win. All right. Six enemies remain. Let's just make our way towards the uh, another boss. All right. I think we're almost there. Indeed, it's right down there. Wait, nothing from you either. So we don't have that many chances left to find a card in this realm. Uh, what? Okay. If you, if you insist, I'm going to do a reincarnation to bring my people back. And we're going to do this battle like normal. That was annoying. Oh, just, just keep doing clay, man. Yeah, just, just punch them. Just punch them to death. Easy win. Although I think somebody's trying to resurrect, maybe. No. Okay. So nothing from the boss loot. Nothing from the left. Nothing from the right. Nothing from 
the realm loot either. Only a few enemies left in the whole realm. I guess I'll kill them before I jump on into another realm because technically we could we could find the card from the last enemy that we fight. Although I don't think that's one of the enemies that we summoned. Not that creature up there. It might be a nemesis creature. And indeed it is. So we could find something from its loot. I don't know if there are any cards left to get from uh, these creatures. Okay, uh, no card. All right, let's let's do one more realm and then and then we can end. And if we find no cards, then so be it. Let's do a new and final realm. Three fifty-seven seems fine. Random realm. Also seems fine. How long have we been going? 56 minutes, yeah. We'll be a little bit more than an hour. That's fine. Alright, cutthroat jungle. Make our donation to Torin, as usual. Uh, decent collection of round properties. Although, a chance to resist damage. And good luck. It's gonna be annoying, but uh, I think we'll be fine. When we're damaging them, we're finishing finishing them off pretty easily. So I think we'll be I think we'll be okay. Kill five enemies to complete this round quest. Nothing in any of the loot so far. Immediately I'm going to start summoning some of these guys. So let's kill... one enemy and then let's summon one more group of the wandering abominations and now let's complete the rest of this round and let's see if we can get a card it, there's a good chance that we're gonna find no cards in this episode and that's okay you know would have been would have been nice to find one but we have had episodes in the past where we haven't found cards. And then, you know, sometimes in the next episode we find a whole bunch of cards, you know? It all evens out in the... In the long run, but they're fucking fused with sphinxes, which is... Giving them resurrections as well. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Alright, come on, let's, let's get through this. Let's get through this. There we go. Despite their chance to resist damage, we're just throwing so many things at them that it's overwhelming them.
Oh no, why? Uh, why do they have to be resurrecting? That's just... That's just uncalled for. I like that they have more damage dealt against us. That, that I don't mind. It's when they, they have defensive buffs, that's when... That's when things get a little silly sometimes. find the master as well. Ten enemies. Not that many, you know, considering that we summoned a whole bunch of them. And then we can be done with this realm, and then we can start wrapping up the episode. Not, not a lot happened. Not a lot happened, other than us just going deeper, killing some bosses, Killing, uh, killing Nebadar, and I think we're going to be killing Nebadar a few times until he gives us the, uh, um, what, conflagration, I think, or, or fire starter. The, uh, anointment where enemies are always burning. That's an important one for us to have. I think for our long term, just our long term interests in this series, especially if we want to make, if we want to make builds other than the one that we're using, or potentially even with this one, we could see if there's a way to integrate it, a way to, a way to kill enemies and prevent them from ever resurrecting. Sorry if I'm being quiet, it's a little... It's not even that late in the evening, it's about like 8pm. But I've uh, I've been trying to sleep earlier these days, so I'm already like... I can feel my body getting ready to start wrapping up for the day and I'm just constantly resisting the urge to yawn. So if I'm quiet, or if I've been quiet, then that's the reason, it's because I'm... I know that if I if I st if I start talking, then I'll I'm, I'll just start yawning, yawning like crazy. But we're almost done with the episode, so it's decent timing even even for that. All right, there's a I just noticed a pandemonium shrine. What do we want out of that? A treasure golem would be nice. I think that's the thing we want the most. Other than that, I don't know, I guess like a pandemonium, king, queen, fight, that kind of thing. Or literally nothing could happen. Or we could just have that. Sounds good. I'm going to do some combat with these guys. Which... Which is fine. Every time you get into combat with one of these realm objects, usually it means you will get more favor than you would have if you had gotten the uh, the peaceful option. Oh, oh god, I could, I could no longer resist the urge. I just had to yawn. Alright, what, what is left in this realm? The answer is a little bit. We've got to hand in this mini quest. Explore some of these tunnel shafts. And then we can start calling it good. Nothing there. 
Nothing here either. Nothing from you. And I think this gave us some uh, favor with the Tauren as well. Alright. Here's what I'll do is uh, for I and I really, really, really want to find a card. So what we'll do is we'll do one group of twenty. I will kill them off screen. I will let you know how it goes. And like I won't spend any more of your time killing these guys, but we'll we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll kill them. And if we get something, we get something. If not, then we'll just call it good. But yeah, I'm just going to kill these off screen and I'll be back to let you know how it went in just a moment. All right, last enemy left. We'll kill this guy. Uh, this this wasn't this wasn't worth it. Like it was just too many of them kept resurrecting. It was just a whole it was a whole pain. It was a whole a whole thing. It just slowed everything down. But you know what? It's okay. It's done. We tried. We didn't get a card. It's okay. It happens. It's fine. It is fine. What we'll do is we will hand in our experiment, immediately start another experiment. Before we end, I do want to check. Uh, let's go to our achievements. Castle achievements. I want to see how many experiments we have left. No, I, sh I should go backwards through the end of the list. Just because we have completed most things. We have 13 more assassinations to do. 28 more experiments and 28 more forge missions. Man, I'm going to be so, so glad when these things are done. But it, it is going to take a while. Just because that, like we are, uh, we are gonna have to just uh, just get through it. And, and and once it's done, then we can just do any kind of project we want or need based on the requirements of the moment, rather than just you know achievements, you know achievement hunting. It'll be great when that happens. Also, 40% of the way through the Arcane Dust achievement. This is just an achievement for basically playing the game. So that's going to take a while. Uh, other than that, I think that's all for what I wanted to check. Let's take a look at some of the recently earned achievements. So, we got the Az Slayer of Azrael 6 achievement last episode. So this episode we didn't really get mu very much at all. All we did was we beat uh, Ramesses and we beat a few of the masters. We did also beat a false god but because we've beaten all of the false gods at least 10 times or more we're no longer getting achievements for killing them. Uh, you know the, the basic achievements for killing. We might indirectly get some achievements through killing them like for getting anointments but we're no longer getting achievements just for killing any of the false gods. And speaking of false gods, I think we're going to be farming Nebadar for a while. Because we need him to give us the uh, fire starter anointment. That in conjunction with burn their corpses is going to be very crucial for, um, I'm sure, many, many, many of our builds, just to make sure that enemies never, never resurrect in most normal circumstances. So that is a top priority in terms of the uh, anointment that we need to get. Other than that, I think it is time for us to call it good. Uh, um, we're going to... We're gonna have to roll the Goblet of Trials next episode. That's gonna be a little annoying, but it's okay. I'll, I'll I'll pause it to roll it. This episode has gone long enough. I think it's time to call it good. But yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be staying on Nebadar 
potentially for a while until he coughs up that anointment. But yeah, with that said, I think it is time to draw things to a close. Hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed yourself. It wasn't, you know, a super... There weren't, you know, thrills and huge moments of excitement. But we did... Have we seriously not found a dumpling? That is stupid. You know what? Let's 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 do some scratch cards before we end, because I thought we were done with gambling, but evidently not. But yeah, there were a lot of uh, you know flashy moments of excitement in in this episode. All we really did was we made some more basic progress. We went deeper through the realms. We. Oh hey, that's nice. We beat another, uh, another boss, another false god, all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, we're just, uh, we're just, we're just, we're just trying our best. We're just trying our best. But with that, yeah, I think that is going to be all for this one. Hopefully next episode we find some more uh, good stuff, but even if we don't, we will, gosh darn it, we will keep trying until we do. But with that, it is time for me to call it good. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you'll join me for the next episode, and until then, take care.